We have recently covered many of the amazing archaeological ruins, which can be found within modern-day Turkey. And it would be foolish of us not to devote a small fraction of our investigative minds on what is probably the most enigmatic of them all. Placed high atop a rather suspiciously shaped mountain known as Nimrut, someone, at some time within our very distant past, went to tremendous efforts to create what academia have concluded was some sort of tomb. This however, absence of any king or queen's remains to date, or indeed any other form of evidence to support such claims. Said to have been constructed by the Kamajini Kingdom some 5,000 years ago, the enormous stone statues are placed at a height of 2,230 meters above sea level. Because of the site's clearly tremendous antiquity, coupled with the astonishing achievements involved in creating it, many people attribute the site as the eighth wonder of the world. Furthermore, and perhaps most intriguing regarding the ruins, is the fact that Mount Nimrut Da is one of the only places on Earth where a number of sunrises and sunsets can be observed. Every year, thousands of local and foreign tourists come to Nimrut Da to watch the sunrise and sunset. Was this particular anomaly found at this specific location a factor in the decision to place this mysterious structure at the top of Mount Nimrut? And if so, how did a culture more than 5,000 years ago understand this? The name Nimrut is a relatively modern one, dating back only to the Middle Ages. In Armenian legend, Hike defeated the biblical king Nimrod and buried him in these mountains, meaning the real name of the mountain at the time of the monumental structure's construction remains unknown. According to academia, quote, the tumulus, or ceremonial mound at the site, which is 49 meters tall and 152 meters in diameter, was possibly built to protect a tomb from tomb robbers, since any excavation would quickly fill with loose rock. The statues appear to have Greek-style facial features, but Armenian clothing and hairstyling." End quote. We find it interesting that academics would happily mention the amazing characteristics included in the build the hidden chambers beneath being booby-trapped with multiple tons of loose gravel, placed atop to quickly fill any tomb robbers' attempted burrowing tunnels, stifling their attempts to loot the site, yet say with their second breath that the site was somehow looted some time within antiquity. The site was excavated in 1881 by Carl Sester, a German engineer assessing transport routes for the Ottomans. However, his claim of a tomb have never been validated. Subsequent excavations have failed to reveal the tomb of Antiochus, the supposed character who resides here. This however has not deterred academia to continue to strongly argue that the site is indeed his burial site. Who built the ancient monumental structure high atop this mountain within Turkey? Why did they build it? Was it indeed constructed, like Elijah Hoyuk? by a far more advanced civilization than we are led to believe? The more we learn regarding these ancient sites, the more such a proposition becomes a real possibility.